I mean, kids. Leave the kids, so I can see how we got signed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> how is it being a comedian, like the pursuit mm. of doing comedy, having a child? How difficult is that for y'all to make it to gigs? Getting, you know, what what is that like? No, I I'm happy that there's more of us. Yeah, I will say that mm-hmm. because for the longest, we didn't have examples. Right. Of women out here grinding, funny, working, and who are mothers. Mm-hmm. Like, even as actors, you don't have that, the women on the come up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but, Kanisha, I'm going to let you go first. I just want to say that I'm happy that we're out here. Yes. And we're showing all parts of ourselves. Yes. And we're showing that, like, no, bitch, you can have a career and you can have a baby. It's hard. Right. It's hard as hell. Yeah. But you can do both. It is hard to tell. It, time management, I think, is the, the biggest thing. Um, and for me, luckily, I have my daughter's dad is very, I'm not going to say supportive. He don't give a damn about me. But he loves his daughter and he spends time with her. So <laughs> our schedules, and because he works for himself, so he doesn't have a nine to five. He has two businesses. So it's us always trying to balance. So that first is the key. And mm-hmm. then time management is a big one. But I will say my comedy, like I was always hella funny. Mm-hmm. But me as a mother has transcended. Like I'll, everything, my 15 years of comedy led me to the point of me being a mother and me being a comedian, especially with social media. Like we share a lot through social media. So it's not just comedy. Like I share and I'm so open because it's so many women mentally struggling Girl. that they don't talk about. And Angela, she has this dope, dope movement on postpartum mm-hmm. and when i was pregnant i was going through it she was showing up she brought food she made sure i was okay she's like yo john c listen this postpartum is real <laughs> like i need to make sure you go get your girl that's so right it's also having that community to help us yeah. through that and understand yeah. that because i was depressed i hated being pregnant i called her i said can't so remember i was like is there the postpartum What's the reverse of that? Because, bitch, I'm already unhappy. And I'm three months pregnant. Ah, shit. It was. Your shit kicked yep. in early. Huh? I was miserable. Yeah. It I hated early. it. I hated it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And I, and to, so to be able to have people that understand. Yeah. And the best part is when you have comedian friends in the midst of tragedy and pain, these motherfuckers are hilarious. Yes. Right. So, you know, the, the comedy gets us through. Yeah. But it's, I would say the biggest thing is time management. And, like, mm. my first time having to fly away and leave mm. her. You know, I'm not going to even fake for y'all. I was happy as shit. I missed this motherfucker for that. I wanted to lie. I'm like, I just couldn't detach. Now I was ready. I was like, so, so I'm out. It is. It's, it's, and then, you know, it, it's, it's, I love it. Yeah. I think again, same, like I've, I've been doing comedy for 12 years, not quite 15, but same, like everything that I've invested into my career and it just, mom, momming made me funnier. Yeah. You know, the tragedy of having to go, of dealing with postpartum depression, having to go to a psych ward. You know you look like you got a football helmet on right now. Do I? I don't care. I don't want this over my head. I don't want this over my head. Keep going. I'm okay. listening. No, do you. you. I'm listening. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I just want to let you know. It's video and audio. Oh, in, case, Lord. in case you, okay. you be like, why this nigga have me looking like I uh, play for the Steelers? Oh, Lord. Because that's a know. serious thing. Talking about going to the psych ward. Yeah, oh, exactly. I will, I will be focused on exactly. that. That's that's exactly. Exactly. This is serious conversation. Okay. Go for it. Do I look better? And then okay, Ashley, cool. we'll, anyway. Ashley, we'll get to your abortions right after. <laughs> oh, oh. Nah, I don't know. I'm I mean, just talking. Yeah, you had a line. We've all lived in the crossfire. Yeah, fuck your feelings. We have Not all lived. Um, I'm but, listening. But nah, I just think that it, A, it made me funnier, but B, like what helps is having support. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, having a supportive partner, be it your baby daddy, your mama, your cousins, your sisters, who, whoever shows up for you. Like, that's who you really need when you have a child and you're still grinding and working in your, like, you know, working to make your dreams come true. It can be done. It's hard as hell, but you right. need support. You can't just be out here, like, you know. You need it bad, too, because my <laughs> one of my biggest support systems uh-huh. was John Cena. Yes, She absolutely. always has She's been. We always, I mean, I, even when I was in the hospital, she mm-hmm. was raising my baby with, mm-hmm. with you know what I'm saying? Yep. She's always over. She finds her. She's helping stuff. Mm-hmm. She's, you know, dates and yep. everything else. I got some stuff coming up. I've got to leave. She's like, all right, I'll start getting the baby from school. We're going to do this. Like, having that, you know, that interaction. And when she leaves, we're like, all right, let me go take your mom some food. Let yep. me take It's creepy. Creating those relationships exactly. to help you get through that because it's it's a wild ass experience. It is wild, and sometimes like I used to perform and bring Ava, like yeah. when she was a baby. And one time I showed up to a club who personally the owner came to me and was like, "Listen, you know, once you have your baby, you're welcome to come back, and you can bring the baby. I know it's hard, wow. so you can bring the baby." Wow. 
And I was like, oh my Lord. So I'm not, I'm going through postpartum, not knowing. And my daughter's like two months old and I'm trying to get back on stage. And I brought my whole bugaboo stroller, <laughs> the diaper bag, uh, my book bag, my laptop, all my shit, all her stuff. And I get there and the owner was like, she can't come in here. What? He was like, no. He was like, no, you, you must have misunderstood me. Babies can't come in. I said, but you, it was raining outside and it was like five o'clock. My husband hadn't gotten off work yet. I was like, so you mean to tell me I came all the way here, unpacked the car. Remember them struggle days <laughs> with the car seat? I was like, really? And I would out this person, but I don't, I don't want to be petty. But yeah, he, he was like, no, she can't come in here. So I literally had to wait outside in the rain for my husband to come. Black club or white club? White club. Mm. That's some bullshit. That That's is some, some bullshit. bullshit. And people don't understand how important it is to have those space for mom. Yes! And I didn't even know it was going to break me down. All deaf mm. digital. Bean is too. And I'm like, I'm not going to. She's like, bring her here. She could be in the See? green room. And I just started crying. Yes. Because I was like, oh, shit. I can right. go film. They're going to watch. Right. Gonna, you know, whatever. And then John C. ended up meeting up, us down there. But now she and she be out there. All her little uncles. She be getting a dollar from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she loved going on roast me days. She be getting <laughs> dollars from everybody. It's like this. But just that relief of people yep. going, I know you're a mom now yep. and I want to support you in that area. Bring her down. Mm -hmm. We had to, I mean, that shit, but I didn't even know I was going to cry right. like that because you feel supported yes. and you don't have to give up, you right. know, everything going on. Exactly. Right. Going down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back is tempting.